everybody. Welcome to First Steps. I hope you've all had a really good week. Now, this week we are going to finish off the story of Moses. So if you remember last week, Moses and the Israelites were in the desert and they had nothing to eat. And manna came from the sky and God provided food for the Israelites and drink from the rock. And today we're going to have one more story about what happens to Moses and the Israelites. But first of all, we need to look in the basket to see what's going to help us with our story today. So we have got a picture of a mountain. And we've got some rules for a game. So I think the story might be about rules. And we have got a number 10. Let's see if we can count to 10 together. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So listen out in the story to see if you can hear the number 10. Moses and the Israelites were still in the desert. They had been in the desert for a long, long time. They stopped to camp in front of a mountain called Mount Sinai. God told Moses that he had a special message for him. And he told Moses that he wanted him to climb up the mountain to hear what God had to say. No one except Moses was allowed to go up the mountain or even touch the mountain. God wanted to speak to Moses alone. Moses looked at the mountain where he was going to meet God. Thunder was rumbling and crashing. Rum, rum, crash, crash. Lightning was flashing. Flash, flash, flash. A thick cloud hung above the mountain. There was a loud trumpet blast. All of the people were afraid and trembled with fear. Moses led the people out from where they were camping to the bottom of the mountain. The mountain was covered in smoke and the smoke billowed up from the mountain. God had come down to the mountain in fire. The mountain shook and trembled and quaked. The sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder. Then Moses spoke and the voice of God answered him. Tell the people not to try and see me. If they do, I will be angry and I will destroy them. They need to stay away from the mountain. God called Moses to the top of the mountain. So leaving the people at the bottom of the mountain, Moses climbed up up, up to the top of the mountain. When Moses arrived, God spoke to him. He told him that he had lots of rules for the people. There were 10 special rules. Shall we count to 10 again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten special rules. And these rules were for teaching the people how to live and how to love God and to love other people. And we still use these rules today. They are called the Ten Commandments. Moses was up the mountain for 40 days. When he came back down, down, down the mountain, he had all the rules that God had told him written on two stone tablets. All the rules to help the people to love God and to love other people. And that is where we are going to stop our story of Moses. We followed his story all the way since he was a baby in a basket and we've seen 
all the ways which he has led God's people to safety. And in our last story today, we have seen how Moses led the people in living the way that God wanted them to live. To love God and to love other people. And that is exactly what God wants us to do. To love God and to love other people. And now we're going to have craft time. So as we've been talking about loving God and loving other people, today I would like you to make a card for somebody that you love. So this one is mine and it says, I love you. And I wonder if you can think of somebody that you would like to make a card for and make them a card to tell them how much you love them. We're going to pray now and we're going to use some actions to help us to pray. So I'm going to say with our heart, with our mind, with our soul and with our strength. So I wonder if you can join in with those actions. Heart, mind, soul, strength. Dear God, help us to love you and to love other people with our heart, our mind, our soul and our strength. Amen. Now we have come to the end of our series about Moses and we've come to the end of term. But there are still going to be some Bible story videos over the summer, so do join in with those. I hope you all have a really good summer holiday and enjoy whatever you get up to. Bye everybody!